Hi there, I'm Claire from EnglishAtHome.com. In this video, I want to look at 10 very common acronyms. Now, an acronym is a word which is made up of letters. So I've chosen some which are very, very common. Okay, here's the first one. R-I-P. R-I-P means rest in peace and it's what you see when someone has died. So, for example, in a Facebook post, you might see something like, R.I.P. You were my favourite singer. V.I.P. V.I.P. is very common and it means very important person. So, for example, here is your V.I.P. invitation to the launch. S.O.S. SOS is the Morse code distress signal and it stands for Save Our Souls and you often see it on phones to mean emergency, so for emergency calls. ASAP ASAP means as soon as possible, so you could see it in emails, so for example, please let me have the information ASAP or also you can use it when you speak. I'll let you know ASAP. RSVP. You see RSVP at the end of invitations and it comes from the French, répondez s'il vous plaît, or please reply. FYI. You also see FYI in emails and messages and it means for your information. So you would use it if you want to add information or if you want to correct information. So for example, for your information, we sent the flyer out last month. TLDR. TLDR stands for too long, didn't read. And I often see this in blog posts and also in email messages. And you see it at the end of the post or the message. And it's like a headline and then underneath this TLDR, you'll get the summary of that blog post or the message. IMO. You don't say IMO, but you'll see it a lot online and it stands for in my opinion. So, for example, in my opinion, he's a great actor. O-N-O. O-N-O is another thing that you see written and you'll find it in forums or in newspapers when someone wants to sell something. So, for example, if I want to sell my sofa and I want to sell it for £100, I could write O-N-O next to it and it means or nearest offer. So, I would write sofa for sale £100 O-N-O. And you'll also often see another acronym, which is VGC, and that stands for Very Good Condition. So I could write Sofa for Sale VGC £100 ONO. DIY. DIY is one of my favourite acronyms and it stands for do it yourself and it means those little jobs that you do around the house like putting up shelves. So for example, he loves doing DIY at the weekend. TLC. TLC is your bonus acronym and it means tender loving care. So for example, John's just split up from his girlfriend and he needs a bit of TLC and it means we all have to be especially nice to John right now because obviously he's having a hard time. Okay, let me know which of these acronyms you like best. You can leave a comment below. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can subscribe by clicking that button there. And don't forget, if you would like extra English, you can join my email group. Just click the link up there. Every week, I'll send you extra tips to help you with learning English speaking, vocabulary, grammar and pronunciation. Thanks for watching. Bye!